So our next step is we're going to be making our technical drawings out of our assembly. So you should have already all of your parts. You should have assembled them into a bridge. And then you will take that bridge assembly and put them into your two different drawings that we're making for this project. So go ahead and open up your assembly just so you can take a look at it and make sure it works. So again, here's my bridge. Everything is together, connected, and constrained. And so what I'm going to do now is make my drawing. So I'm going to go up to File, click on New. You've got your part, your assembly, and your drawing. Again, make sure it's in the unit that you want. So if we want inches, we want to make sure we're in English. And then click on this one right here. The difference between the DWG and the IDW is just the, uh, it's an inventor file as opposed to just a standard drawing file. Uh, go ahead, click on that, hit create. And it will open up a blank drawing right here. So this is the template that we don't really need all this extra information right here. So this is gives you information about manufacturing, about the design of it and everything, the date, um, the scale, size, everything like that. We don't need this information right here for our purpose. So over on the left hand bar here, we have the ANSI large. We're going to right click that, hit delete, and that gets rid of that box. This border, we don't need this one here either. So again, right click, hit delete. And this gives us our sheet that we can work with. Now we're going to be printing on standard computer paper, which is 8.5 by 11 inches. So we want to change this so it will print out correctly. So on sheet 1, right click and edit sheet. So right here is a size D sheet. We want to bring this down to a custom size in inches. In our height, we want it to be 8.5 inches and our width to be 11. Hit OK. So now we have a standard computer size sheet of paper. Now we want to add our drawings. This base view up here creates the first view in a new drawing. So go ahead and click on that. And if you have your bridge open already, your assembly, then that should pop up right here. Anything you have open is going to be right here in this little drop down. If it's not, you can click this open existing file and find your bridge. Right now we have a 1 to 2 scale, 1 half scale. We can leave that. And this view right here depends on how you built your bridge, but I am looking at the front view of my bridge. So this cube works just like in the drawing. You can change the view if you want to. I'm going to put this down here in the corner. And then before I click anything, you see these arrows right here that brings those horizontal and vertical projectors over so I can get my different views. So I have my front view, if I click that, I now have the top view of my bridge. I click over here, now I've got the side view of my bridge. So that is my three view orthographic drawing. Then lastly, we want that nice isometric view, so if I click this one right here, I get that nice angled isometric view where I can see the top, front, and side all at once. If you want, when you hit OK, it will bring it to a line drawing like this. If you want to make it shaded in, if I double click back on my original one, if I hit this shaded view right here, hit OK, 
shaded view, hit OK. Fills it in, makes it look a little bit prettier for this case. But so that is our three view drawing, but now remember we want to add the dimensions to make sure people know how to build our drawing. So up at the top here we have this annotate button and we have the dimensions over here. So you click on that and just like you're using the dimension tool when you're making a part, if I want to find the width of this bridge I can click on this far left line, come over to this far right line, and then move my mouse up. So I can see that that is four inches. If I want to edit it, I can do that, but just hit OK. So now I can see I have four inches right there. Now, so now you want to dimension any important bit of information on here. So remember that's four inches up there so I do not need another four inches down here because that is a redundant dimension. So I don't need that. So I can undo. So we have the width, let's get the length of it. Dimension tool, click, click, drag it over, hit OK. Uh, just get the height right here. So three and a quarter. Uh, what else? Can we, we can measure these little segments right here. Hit OK. Another useful bit of information might be the thickness of all, each of these pieces. So we know that we're using eighth inch balsa wood. So if I click that one, click that one, bring it over. I get 0.13. If I come over here to my precision and tolerance, I want to make that three decimal places because 0.125 is exactly an eighth of an inch, whereas 0.13 is a little bit over. That's rounded. So from here, you can also get the dimensions of all these angled pieces. So go through your drawing, find whatever dimensions you think are necessary to make an accurate technical drawing. So that's the first drawing that you're going to do. As with everything, you want to make sure you put your name on it. There's a text tool up top here. Click that. Click up to the top, and I'll bring this little box. Mr. Brown, bridge one. Hit OK. And then save that. You can do a file save as. And when you go to turn it in, you're going to export that as a PDF file. So it can open much easier on other computers. So you go to File, Export as a PDF, and then save that. So that's your technical drawing. Your three view, orthographic, top, front, and side, and your isometric. The next one that we're going to do is this one right here. This is going to be your layout drawing. This is what you're going to bring into the lab and actually use to build your bridge. So same thing. Go to File, New, Drawing. We're going to edit it just like before. So right click on Sheet, Edit Sheet, change our size. Piece of computer paper, 8.5 by 11. And we don't need the border, we don't need the information right there, and we want to add just the side view of our bridge. So go to base view, and this one, since I don't have that part open, I have to open existing file and pull up my side view. Pull up my truss, it'll open. 
This one I want to print as a full scale drawing. So right here it defaulted to quarter scale. I want to go one to one. And that should fit on my piece of paper. This is why we needed to make our bridge between 8 and 10 inches so it fits on a 11 inch sheet of paper with some room to spare. So I hit OK. That's my bridge right there. So again, I always want to put my name on it. So annotate text right here, Mr. Brown. And then for this one, just to help us out, we're just going to put the dimensions. You can put whatever dimensions you want, but I'm just going to put just kind of these outer dimensions. Use dimension, click, click, pull it out. Okay, dimension, click, click. So that would be good right here. So this one. Again, file, save as, save it on your H drive, and then export it as a PDF to turn it in. So file, export, PDF, and then on this one, you're going to print it out. So you're going to go to file, print, and let me know if you need help doing this so we can find the correct printer. Ours we are currently in room 165, so it's going to be the room 165 printer, then you'll hit OK, and you'll print it out. That's the drawing you're going to take into the lab to build your balsa wood bridge.